Hi, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Frangiosa, and today we are going to make our very own animal that we are going to put into our farm over here. So the way you can do this, there are two different options. One way is just to get a simple piece of paper and you can use a crayon or a pencil or a marker um, or you can paint your hand. I'm gonna show you the easier way first and then I'll show you some examples if you're using paint on your hand. So all you need is a piece of paper. You're going to put your hand on the piece of paper and I'm gonna set this right here so you can see me. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put my hand on the piece of paper. Now you can put your paper on the table. You do not need to put it against your body like I am doing, but this is just so I can show you. So the hand is on the piece of paper and your job is going to be to trace your hand. So I'm gonna look in the computer and watch this. Now, if it's not perfect, I can always erase and fix it. That's the beauty of art is that it doesn't have to be perfect the first time. It could be perfect the second time or the third time or the fourth time, and that's okay too. So I'm gonna move my hand away and I can see I've got some kind of funny looking fingers in there, but I think I'm gonna leave them just the way they are. Now I have five fingers, but most of my animals on the farm have two or four legs or feet or talons. So for this purpose today, I'm gonna to pick an animal with four legs. And I think I'd like to pick, hmm, maybe a cow, I like cows. I'm gonna take my picture and I'm gonna turn it upside down, okay? Now you go ahead and do that too. You're gonna to take your paper and you're gonna flip it upside down so that the thumb part is going to look like the head, okay? And we're gonna take where your prom, prom was and we're going to cover it just like this. Okay, can everybody see that? I think so. And I'm gonna do an eye for my cow and the nose holes for the cow are usually pretty big and then his nice big mouth. And usually cows have a little bit of a bump on their head, so I'm gonna fix my thumb to show that little bit of a, a textured bump there. There we go. And I'm gonna do two ears for him. Two small ears. Now I know that cows have lots of spots, so I'm going to draw some spots on my cow. Now if you're doing a horse, maybe you wanna do spots on your horse. I remember Ms. Heckenberger talking about how sometimes they have um, brown spots, sometimes they have black spots. If you have a black crayon or black paint or black uh, pencil or a marker, you can go ahead and do it just like that or whatever color it is. Like I'm using blue, I'm okay with using blue, that's fine. The main idea is that we are following directions so that we can create our own farm animal. And maybe I wanna do a little tail here and his tail is going to go out and just has a little bit on the end here. Can you see that okay? And then cows have hooves. So I'm gonna do his cow hooves. All right, and cows usually have udders, so I may do the udders back there. Now I've got my cow, I am ready to put him into my farm. And you can see I have my farm right over here, but I can't put the whole paper on the farm. That won't look right. So instead, I am going to cut him out. Now when I cut, I am just going to cut around the feet. I am not going to go all the way up into each of the parts where the fingers are because I think that makes it a little bit too difficult to make it look right and sometimes the legs get cut off and that's no fun. So we'll cut it out in a big circle like this and then you can just put it in your farm. You can try this with four-legged animals or maybe even two-legged animals. Give it a try, let me see what you do.